All right, all right. How's everyone doing today? Woohoo! We are live. We are live. It is Monday morning. At least it's Monday morning for me. I'm on the East Coast. Welcome, everybody, wherever you are from around the world. Hey, you know what? It's Monday. You know what that means? Mindset Monday. Listening to my friends. Well, not my friends, but your friends. You're going to, you'll figure this out in a little bit, or hopefully I, you will. Look, I want to do this live because <clears throat> you're probably struggling right now in life, in business, right? And one of the things that could be causing this, right? There's usually many, you know, when you get down to the root of the problem, but one of them, a big one is maybe it's the people you're hanging around, right? These are these people, I call them my inner circle, right? These are the people you look up to. These are the people you listen to. These are the people always con you're constantly around. And guess what? This inner circle, this is your biggest influence on how you think. Yeah, this includes family. This includes your significant other, right? So let's just take, for example, right? If you're kind of always talking negative about, it doesn't matter, the weather, your life, your business, why everything always bad happens to me. How do you think you're thinking the whole day? You're thinking negative, right? You're thinking negative. So what you need to do You've got to create this inner circle that's going to empower you and influence you. Right? You want to get into a positive inner circle, be part of a positive inner circle. Now, this goes both ways. Just like you want them to empower you and uplift you, you have to do the same for them. And even in today's world, right, this isn't just all like personal face-to-face -face physical friends. We'll, we'll include virtual like Facebook or wherever you meet them on the, you know, the internet, right? Because it's a huge part of our life now and it affects us. So this inner circle is both or can be both, right? People you absolutely personally know that you're you know, next to or whatever. And also who you hang around with online. Who's part of your inner circle? Now, an inner circle isn't this huge group of a hundred or a thousand or a million friends. It's usually like five to ten. It's a small group of people, right? Like I said, they're people you look up to, people you listen to, people you take advice from, just like they would you. So this circle, like I said, it's it works both ways. And if it's not working, right, if you got a negative people in your group, this inner circle, you're just going to have to make that decision, right? You're going to have to make that hard decision. Maybe you might have to let them go. You know, if you start be, be finding this positive group, the people that are going to empower you, you're going to be more creative. You're going to be, you know, the person that you want to become. You can't do it alone. You need people to help take you there. And when you become more empowered yourself, guess what? You turn around and empower other people. You know, so you want to, when you look at, like I said, this is what this inner circle's for. So today, you want to make today the day when you evaluate your inner circle. You need to ask that very, this very tough question. Are they empowering me? And you got to think about it too. Am I also empowering them? Are they empowering me? And I'm, am I all, am I also empowering them? Welcome to the live. Thanks for coming. We're talking about our inner circle, our biggest, one of our biggest influences on our life and business success. But you need, this is going to be tough. You're not going to get this figured out today. But you, you have to rethink this, right? Because if your circle of friends, you're not 
empowering them, they're not empowering you. You you got to you got to change that circle up. You got to find a new circle. Right? Maybe maybe you don't have these people right now, these mentors, the people you're looking up to right now, but this is something you need in your life whether you have a business or not. And one of the best ways that you can do this is by going to events. This is a great way to meet like-minded people, the people that you want to be around, right? And this, I'm telling you, this is going to help so much for your success. I went to this event this weekend. Nurka put on this event. She's the author of a book called, I don't have it with me. I was looking around for it. It's called Supreme Influence. She wrote this book and I've actually been reading it. It's my second time, but it was an all weekend. We did it eight hours on Saturday and eight hours yesterday on Sunday. It was called Business Quantum Leap. And I'm telling you, I w- listen, there was like six speakers, I believe. Unbelievable. Completely inspiring. Just took everything what I thought about up another notch. And what I thought was fascinating, right? He had six different speakers from all around the world, they all had completely different topics, completely different speeches, right? But you know what? The core was exactly the same through each and every one of them. There was a common thread of just about that, right? Having a positive mindset and empowering, not just empowering yourself, but also empowering others. But I I just sat back in amazement at so many times when I just sat there. There's people, you know, just different personalities, completely different, but with this common thread of unity. It's just amazing. Nurka, she's got a way too. Like, you know, she's all, you know, she's definitely, you know, great coach. She she worked with Tony Robbins for a while. One of her biggest clients was uh, Mercedes Benz. And this is when she, she left home around 15. She ran away from home. And I think she went back around 18, but anyhow, she got a job with, I think, Mercedes when she was like in her young, early 20s. And she told a story. It was just amazing. And of course, she ran away from home. So let's tell you one thing. She didn't have a family that had good guidance that's going to help her, that empower I don't know how. I don't know how people just go from, you know, a bad situation to something that really, they become this in such an empowering person. How do you become a runaway from home and then fairly, you know, a few short years working for somebody like Tony Robbins, one of the greats, right? Or landing one of our very first accounts, like I was saying, was Mercedes Benz. How do you do that? But this is what she was talking about. You know, obviously it's your mindset and how much you believe and all this. That's what was like amazing, you know, to me when you hear her story. It isn't somebody, oh yeah, you know, coming from money and they've got their life made. They don't know hardships. Boy, she's got more than her share. And again, one of the common things between all these speakers, they all went through really traumatic times in their life. Not, I, I wouldn't say every one of them, I guess, but most of them. Their stories were all kind of similar. It's amazing, right? When we get backed up against the wall, what we really do. Sometimes it seems like, yeah, that's what you need to almost make a success for yourself and to help under other people because now you know, right? You've got this story. You know what it feels like. So you can use this, right? And talk to people because other people are going through the same type of thing. You can really, it's amazing how they pull inspiration from their life life their stories right and it's just that you know i just li- was listening to her and these other speakers just in complete awe again it was I, my mind was just blown and she had us go nurka had us go through a few exercises which was amazing you know even for a virtual event event it wasn't just like we're sitting it back in the cozy couch like this and watching tv i was up in my chair just like this and I'm thinking, wow, you know, because, well, for East Coast time, it started at 1 and ended at 9. I'm like, I'm not going to make it eight hours. And I remember last night was the last night of the event. And I'm looking out my office windows here. I'm like, man, 
five o'clock. It's getting dark. It must be get come, you know rainstorm, cloudy coming in or something. Cause it, but it wasn't. It was like seven thirty. I lost track of so much time. That's how quick it went. I took some great notes. Well, I'm hoping I got to go back through them today and clean them up. But this is so important for you guys to get around, if, go to events, especially now. Like I said, you don't have to go get a plane ticket. You don't have to go worry about a hotel. You don't have to get food. Just enjoy them from the comfort of your home. This is cool. This is what you want to start taking advantage of. Because I know just by what I went through last week, you know, just two days ago, I feel way different. And I, I mean, I've got to stay with it, right? So it stay, it lasts. Because a lot of these, like once you have the event, it's long gone. It, it is kind of that. It's an event. But you want to keep holding on to that, right? And that's why I want to go through my notes today and just kind of clean them up and look at them again and refine them. I was actually, as the, you know, the thing was going on, I was just using my screen. I was taking a screenshot. Boom. Dumping them in my document. Boom. Just screenshot. Screenshot. Boom. Boom. Pasting them in with my notes, right? And I just kept doing that. And I... I, the whole time, literally the whole time, I think we only had like an hour and a half break, but I was like nine o'clock came, I was still ready to go. That's the kind of event you want to go to. Now, I know how I feel inspired, how empowered I feel right now. Well, I'm going to another event in two weeks. So you don't want to just do one. You got to keep going, right? So I've got another event. It's probably going to be just as epic. I don't know if there's still tickets left. I'm not even sure. But if you guys want information on it, just let me know. Just drop a comment down below and I'll, I'll get you the information or just message me. Either way, just message me. If you're watching the replay, same thing. Just message me or dr drop a comment down below. I'll be glad to send you information. But I know it's going to be one of those events, again, that I'm glad I went to. Because I never get let down when I go to these events. And I learn an incredible amount. The best way you're going to learn how to succeed in anything you do in your business and life is get around people that are willing to give you the information. To tell them exactly what they're doing. Those are the kind of people you want to be around. Don't You don't want to be around people that you can tell too, right? You can tell. Like... I'm trying to think of the best way to say it. Like people that kind of theorize, but you know they're not doing it. For some reason, you can just tell the way it comes off, right? Like if somebody teaches you how, I don't know, I'm just going to keep it simple. How to run traffic. I use, you know, they talk about a certain traffic source. I don't care if it's free or paid. But I don't know about you. I can watch videos and say, no, nah, they've never done this one before. Even if I ne know nothing about that traffic source, but you can tell because they don't give you these little details or unless they're holding back. But I know myself, like I can talk about it, try to talk about a traffic source that I've never actually done personally myself. And I've seen it like I've seen it like I miss a lot of the details. But when I talk about I've done videos before in different traffic sources, right? The ones that I've done, some of them free, some of them paid. But I remember all the little nuances, the difficulties, like, you know, I'm doing direct, mit, you know, not direct list right now. But I was listening to videos and what I'm already experiencing, right? I, these people weren't like the people I was watching their videos on, like they weren't even mentioning this stuff. But it's the little, the little things, the little hacks that you got to do, the little just a little bit more because they were barely showing you the page, you know, like whatever the website, whatever it was. But I'm all in there like, yep, I, you know, a person I've been talking to going back and forth. I've learned so many things just by taking that new venture on. Right. And I've been starting to do some videos on my YouTube channel about it. And I'm and I've been telling everybody, hey, I'm going to show you the good, the bad and the ugly here. I'm hoping it's all good, but we're going to learn from every bit of it. Because that's what it's all about. But anyhow, my name's Lamar Scholl. I'm from Direction to Success. Look, great event. If you guys are into personal growth mindset, bettering your business, bettering your life, let me know. I'll send you information. Hey, if you don't resonate with it, it's fine. 
Just that. You don't lose anything by asking. Nothing nothing lost, nothing gained, right? Or whatever. You got everything to gain, nothing to lose. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for coming. And if you are watching replays, just message me. Get a hold of me. It's all good. All right. We'll see you later.